What do you do, everybody? It's your boy. Okay, I'm not going to be speaking like that throughout the entire thing. What I am going to be doing, however, is teaching you how to use the VHS effect. For those of you who aren't aware, or have been living under a rock and don't check their notifications when I ask them to, I've been making a series called Every Copy of Kirby Superstar is Personalized. And some of you may be wondering, how does Jason do that cool VHS effect? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to do exactly that. Alright, so first things first, you're going to need these three files, AVI Synth VHS Effect, Virtual Dub, and XVID. I'm going to show you why you need those in a second. So the first thing you want to have is, of course, your video file. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the Kirby Superstar intro, just because I'm f way too lazy. I tried downloading uh, some other MP4 files, it didn't really go over so well, so I just decided, you know what? Why not use what I already have? If it's an mp4 file, you're going to have to change it. So, what I recommend doing is going to mp4, searching up mp4.av to avi, not dot avi, select file, and then select the file that you want to convert. In my case, it is Kirby Superstar Intro. So, just wait for the process to convert. All right, yeah, and then download. See your finished product. As you can see, it's the same video, but with a but in it's an AVI instead, and I'll show you why it needs to be an AVI file. So you go over to Xvid Mini Convert again, assuming that you already have all of these uh, programs installed. Where you go is you click on source, click on the three dots. And then you go over to where your video file is located. So after finding the file, what you want to do is you want to put it in the folder that it's in. You're going to convert it. Alright, conversion has been finished. Alright. So afterwards, you can just go over to your file. This is just a personal preference, but I have all my plugins and resources in this one folder called VHS thing. You don't have to do this, but I personally recommend it because it's way more convenient. So you click on this and as you can see, it's saved and everything. So what you wanna do is, you wanna move this into the AVI Synth VHS effect file and you, you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. So what you wanna do is you wanna rename the file and copy and paste it. Now click over to where it says effect. Click on it. Whatever is in here first, remove it. And paste the original name. Now what you want to do next is, you want to open another file, or file explorer. Open another tab, go back to desktop, go to the folder that contains virtual dub. Now, the one with 3,000 kilobytes, you probably can't see it right now because my thing's loading. But, you want to drag the effect onto Virtual Dub. And voila! You've got your virtual- you've got your effect. You've got your really cool VHS effect. Now, you're, after this you're probably wondering, But how do I export it? Well, that's actually very simple. Go over and click to where it says Save as AVI. Then you want to name the file to whatever you want to name it as. And let the thing work its magic. 